Alpha. Ay, 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 ay. Mastodon. Triceratops. Hyper 2 Tiger. Tyrannosaurus. Testing, testing. All right, guys. Sorry for the slow in info, but welcome to the stream. I figure I'll do a live review and point out a couple of things with this live review. This is the review of uh, Power Rangers Mighty Morphin Mega Battle. And I'm just going to break a couple of things down in the in the video. This is not intended to be a long uh, review, but you know, if anybody has any questions along the way, I'll be happy to answer them for those who are viewing. Um, first and foremost, let's start with the Power Rangers. You got Red Ranger, Jason Lee Scott, and by pressing X, you can also play as Rocky. And then you got the Black Ranger, Zack Taylor, and you can um, switch between Adam and Adam and Zack. And then you could go to um, the Blue Ranger, Billy Carson. And you could go from his original TV look or his movie look. And you could go to Trini, which is the elevator. They got Trini and Aisha here by pressing X. And you got Kimberly Hart, and by pressing X, you can also switch to Cat Hillard. You got the Green Ranger, Tommy, and you got the Red Ranger. Now, what I want to break down with Jason here, uh, I'm going to pick Jason first so you can see what I'm talking about. And I'm just going to pick a random level. First and foremost, um, no Dragon Zord, no Ninja Falcon Zord, and there's no Tiger Zord. The only Zords you get is the um, original, you know, Power Rangers Dino Mega Zord, and that's about it. The one thing I want to put out here is um, Jason's fighting style and his morphing. I just want to, um, it's the same storyline for everybody, whether you're the Green Ranger, Black Ranger, Red Ranger. Now, obviously when you start out, you'll be in a human form like this. I want to get to a raptor. You see Jason's fighting style, pass it into just a regular three hit combo. That's Jason Lee Scott. Jason Lee Scott. Now, okay, now when I morph. Yes. Now when I morph, you hear Jason's voice say, Tyrannosaurus. Now, now I'm, I'm going to quit and transfer over to transfer over to Rocky. Now, now if you're a Power Rangers fan, you might not care about you know this ordeal. But what I want to point out is this. Now, at first glance, you will see that this is Rocky. But um, when you go to the putties, you will see that him and Jason basically got the same fighting style. And 
Rocky is very fighting style. Rocky is just a reskin version of Jason in this game. And then one of the main things I want to point out is when Rocky morphs, hold up, pay attention. It's still Jason's voice when he morphs. And the Ranger, and they still got the same moves, whether you're Jason or Jason or Rocky. Both Rangers are completely the same, whether they're reskin. It's just, it's just a reskin version of it. So, so all right, let's let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next Ranger. The next Ranger is who is Zack? Now we're gonna go to Zack first, and I'm gonna use the uh, first level. The evasion because it's the easiest level for them to move on. A lot y'all might not even pick up these things or notice these things unless you really have to be you really have to be listening to see. Alright, let's go to Zach here. I thought Zach would like have a hip hop keto style towards fighting, but he doesn't, but it is it is pretty solid. It's a pretty solid fighting style. Now let's go. You see, you know his basic fighting style. That's his basic fighting style. And, and I'm just, um, you know, just killing him. Uh, you see his, you see his back three hit combo. Now when he moves, it's his original boy. Mess it on. And his ranger, his ranger combos is you know still the same as if he was a human. You know he has the power axe. Now, let me um, let me quit. And now uh, let me go to um, let me go to Adam Park. Using the first level, because okay. it's easier to you know show you what I'm talking about and morph. Okay, we got the original. And okay, now as you can see. That's Adam. They tried to make him look like an agent as best he can. As you can see, he's just a reskin version of that. Same, same, same combos. Kill the puppies. Same, same uh, version. That's a reskin. That's a reskin version. Now. Now, when he morphs, Master. it's still Zack's voice, and and just like in the TV show, it's still Zack in the suit. You know, I mean, if you are if you are a hardcore Rangers fan, you probably this is something that you know. Yeah, I guess you really can't complain for a fifteen dollar game, but this is what you got. Now I'm gonna exit out. And let's go to the next ranger, which is let's go to let's go to Billy Carson. I might not really need to show I don't really need to show business Billy, but uh, there's a slight difference in his voice where he morphs. It's like they give all the this is regular Billy. I mean. <coughs> this is TV show Billy. Now Billy wasn't really a martial artist at the time, so he, he's a little difficult to play with in human form, but when he's in ranger form, he's good, just like everybody else, he runs slow, and you know, he's basically a nerd, but he, 
he, ba he, he basically had the same combo as, I want to say, Adam almost, and he got the same drop kick as the TV show that he never missed. That's Billy's signature, signature move. But now you will see, when he morphs, he, you know, he he's a little faster, but he's still slow. And he has a slash. He could upgrade moves, but for the sake of for the sake of time and the sake of BP, I'm just you know just doing a couple of. Just doing, he he he's he, he's really he's really slow. But now you're gonna see a slight difference in his morph when I go to the movie. Uh, when I go to the movie, Billy Carson. So I'm gonna exit out. Now I'm gonna switch to movie form. And you're gonna see the you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Let's go to this again. In a in a movie form, he's more agile and just a little bit quicker. But you're gonna see what I'm talking about. And I mean, you see, he's a little bit faster, but this is his movie form. His combos, especially the, you see, they added an uppercut in the movie form. Look at that. Hold on, let me do it. Uppercut. And let me get rid of these. He still has the same kick, but he's a he's a little bit stronger. Now, now. A lot of people won't pay attention to this, but when you pick the Billy with the glasses, he has his TV show morph. But if you pay listen to him now, this is his movie morph. It's more agile. Okay, now let's go to the next ranger. Now this is the same. This is the same day that I've been pointing out with uh with um Zach and um. Let's go with Trinity so far. Let's go with Trinity. With Zach and um so far I did Zach and Billy and Jason and Rocky and I'm just showing you the difference between the two now when I mean like I said you really can't complain for fifteen dollars but you know here's what's going on with this right here. And you, you won't know this unless you're paying attention. Okay. You know, that's Trini right here. You know, she's really fast. She was fast in the show. That's her style. You know, and her martial arts is... You know, pay attention to the three-hit combo. That's a, you know, that's a three-hit combo. You know, kick, split. Good seeing Trini back in action, you know, after her death. Even if it is in a video game. Now. Now when she morphs. It's Trini. And this is her Ranger Yellow form. This is a major That's actually Trini. Trini's voice. Now I'm going to exit. Then I'm going to go to, um. Let's go to Aisha. And you see, that was. And, and right there, that tells you that that's still Trini's voice. Let's go back here again to the invasion. Now, as you can see, I each and Trini is the same speed and they do the exact same combo. 
exact same combo. And then it just this this made me real mad because hold on. Like, like Trini and I each of that exact same combo. And this made me mad because um even with your morph. It's still Trini's voice. And it's still Trini inside the major uniform, even though you are Isha. Let's go to the next uh, ranger. The next ranger is... Let's go to Kimberly. I'll just break it down all the ranges to you so you can see. <sighs> Get the trick of soda real quick. Okay, what's going on here? Alpha 5, yada yada yada. Okay, you see Kimberly, um, she, you know her, she's basically the same, you know, with the split. With the splits and her moves based around, you know, gymnastics, you can tell. You can easily tell that's Kimberly's fighting style. Uh, you know, pretty quick. Now, when she moves, that's Kimberly in the suit. You know she has a blaster. Her arrows don't really go that far. This is. You gotta be like kind of close up, close up for you. Now I'm gonna go to to cat. Hit X. You still see us, uh, Kimberly's voice. Go to the evasion. Wait for the screen to load up. What happened? I'm fucking fine. I'm fucked up. That's what happened. <laughs> it's time to move. But this is Cat. And as you can see, her fighting style is exactly the same as Kimberly. It's Kimberly all the way. We agree that it's the same fighting style as Kimberly. The Ranger are just short. The same fighting style. The same speed, same fighting style. Now when they more, it's still Kimberly in the suit and it's still her voice more okay. Now the next ranger which is Tommy now there, there's a couple of things that makes me mad about Tommy number one you, you can't you can't um, no dread there's no dragon sword yeah you're, you're gonna find you're gonna see in a minute what I'm talking about if it's more His fight, his fighting style is the same, but he's uh, he, he green or white, but there are some differences. But you know, for the majority, it's the, it's the same. But I'm, but I'm mad. Let me get these, these out the way. 
but I'm mad because you put a guy like Tommy in the game, but when he moves, you don't even hear nothing. You don't even hear the drag. You don't hear the dragon sword. You don't hear the morph. I mean, that's that's that's, that's kind of insulting to the Green Ranger way. It's like when you hear all the original Rangers morph, but they don't let you hear Tommy and the, the Green Ranger and the White Rangers power coin morph. You don't you don't hear them say dragon sword or white tiger sword. I mean, I mean, you can use this dragon dagger, and if I level, if I level up enough, I will show you. I will show you. Um, you can. There it is. You, you can't summon the dragon sword itself, but and they don't have the flute. They don't have the flute sound when you summon the dragon sword, but you can use the dragon sword power, like so. Yeah, you can use the power. Now, I wish you could summon the sword. I really do, but. And I wish you could hear it when he morphs too, but you know, that that's about as close as you're gonna get to being able to use the dragon sword. And if you got your range all the way leveled up to like whatever the max level is, you can destroy this is more powerful, but you know, then that's about the strongest you're gonna get with the green range. But when he move but like I said, with all the original with everything I pointed out to you so far, with all the original did that auto original sword like you did Tyrannosaurus, Pterodactyl, Mastodon, you can harder more but when but when Tommy Morse he doesn't say Dragon Sword or White Tiger Sword. But this is but that's as close as you're gonna get to using the Dragon Sword. And the Dragon Flute is doing the super move I just did. Now let me press start. Now let's go to now we're gonna quit and go to the White Ranger. Okay. Yeah, this is the right. This is a uh, level nine white ranger. Now, now I'm going to show you the similarities real quick with the white ranger. I mean, like I was saying, you really can't complain with a fifteen dollar game, cause it is cool for what it is. But I would have liked to hear him say Dragon Sword with him more than White Tiger Sword. They, Tommy's the only ranger that doesn't do that. that he just he just morphs, and his fighting style is the same as if he's green or you know white. Not, I mean, if you if you didn't pre-order this to get the White Ranger, you're not really missing it because cause his fighting style. It's exactly the same as as Green Ranger, but uh, but what I'm mad about is I'm about to show you in a second. What I'm mad about is when you morph, there's no there's no Tiger Sword, you just morph. Now there's no Ninja Falcon Sword, there's no Tiger Sword. If you want to use, but you can just like the Green Ranger, you can use the um, White Tiger Sword's power. I'm about to um, show you how to. Uh, I'm about to show you how to do that. You got to be level nine to do it for starters. It, it's kind of like a. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what the max level is. It might be ten, or maybe more than that. But and but uh, but to summon the white tiger's watch power, you can do it this way. Go off and just you know do it, do it like that. You know that's the that's the closest you're going to get to using the board. They turn instead of summoning the Zords and putting it in the game, they turn it into an alternate move. I mean, I get. I mean, it's cool for what it is. I mean, I like it. It really gets you out of the jams. They already did the reviews. Uh, they played the Green Ranger, the White Ranger, and the Red Ranger, so I might not. Um, I might not do another one. Yeah, but um, I might not do another review unless somebody asks me, but. Now that I broke down the um, now that I broke down the Power Rangers and let me um, break down some All right, yeah, the Zords. No um, let me get out of this. 
There, there's no Tiger Zord, there's no Ninja Falcon Zord, there's no Dragon Zord. They put Green Ranger in the game, but no Dragon Zord. And no multiplayer. I mean, they do have a multiplayer. Um, Angel Grove Dojo only is available multiplayer. I don't even know what that that is. They have a boss roster mode that you can unlock at the complete the story mode. And they have a theater mode too. Now, unlock, and now I'm going to show you how to unlock the Green Ranger. You unlock the Green Ranger by. Um, let me just pick the Ranger. I told you the similarities between the two that even when they morph, it's still the original Rangers morph instead of Aisha, Cat, or Rocky, or Adam. Let's go with. Um, let's go with Jason Lee Scott. No matter which Ranger you pick, it's still going to be the original Rangers. To unlock Green Ranger. You got to beat him, and I forgot which level it is. No, it's not that one. How do you unlock Green Ranger? No, that's not it either. Give me a second, I will find it. To unlock him, is it the Dark Dimension? No. I forgot how to unlock Green Ranger, guys. And Cardio Troy. <laughs> it might be one of these. I'm not sure. It might be. It might be. It might be one of these, but I don't. I don't know. Um, I can't remember where or how I unlocked the Green Ranger. I think I beat. You have to fight him, but I don't know where the fight is. Anybody know where the Green Ranger is? Tell you the truth, I might be in this one. Well, uh, and and yeah, about the enemies. They put enemies in here that should have been bosses. Like one of the obvious. Let me go to one. One of the obvious being um. Is it the Dark Dimension? Here. One of the obvious being the nasty knight who deserved the respect of being a boss, but let me show you. But yeah, Alpha 5 is in here, but he gives you. Let me go to JC. Show you, show you the nasty knight. This is some hotties. Let me get these out of the way. <sighs> get these out of the way. Punch out the way. So I got. I'm experiencing interruptions. So punch out the way. I know how to do combos. Like I said, when Jason walks into his voice. Now I'm. Uh, Maybe um. I don't have his ultimate yeah, yeah, right here. Here he is. Now, this is this is called the Nasty Knight. I, I, I think he was worthy of being called a boss. I don't know why they just made him a random, um... They just made him a random monster that should just be really easy. Uh, and in the TV show, he wasn't really that easy to beat. And so let me go back. And some of the, and they got, I'm not too upset with the enemies that they put in here with the bosses, but if they put some odd kind of bosses in here, like one that's Turban Shell, Cardiotron, and the Hatchosaurus, Lord Zed, and, and Goldar, there's really not, let me see, there's really not a single hard boss in here, like you fight Lord Zed twice, being that this is a review, I'm not going to do that, but um, I will fight Goldar for you real quick. Or well, every level that you start off, you start off as a human, but when you morph, you stuck in that form until the game takes you, pulls you out of it. I should have fought him as a green, not a green ranger, but you don't really gotta be that good to beat Godar. I'm confident that I can beat him. That's why I'm doing this in this review. But yeah, this is Godar.
Oh shit. I forgot I gotta kill some patties. It's like an invisible roll here. They only put him out here so I can shoot you this thing, but the punish is disappeared. Dude, he's not gonna be able to beat a level 9 range. But I'm not gonna rush it either. Oh, a level 10 ranger, I'm sorry. My baby, my Jason is level 10. I don't know the max level. For you real quick for the sake of this you just want to show you the zords and the fighting scene behind the zords oh shit i'm trying to brush the game come on i don't have a tyrannosaurus ultimate so I didn't even think to level it up. The yeah, gold is piss poor. Pretty serious. That's a pretty serious move, but go to ours. Piss poor. I'm only doing this for the sake of uh. Now, the part I'm going to show you is like the Zords. So I'm going to show you all that they're going to give you. And this is like basically the cutscene for the Zords, this is all you're going to get, and for every fight scene, this is, you're going to be in a cockpit of the Zord for the first half, like so, and then you shoot these little targets, you're going to shoot these little targets, it's, I mean this cool for what it is for a $15 game, yeah, of course, shoot, every boss is basically the same, like this, you just shoot targets out the mouth, and it's aim, like put out either the arm, or the sword, the head or wherever the wherever the target may be at the time. It, it, it ain't. I mean, you can see the targets. They they are perfectly slow. I mean, you can get what you get. For the uh, Dino Mega Boy, this is all you get. You get the power of just theme song. And then when the screen goes up, like you think you're gonna ready to fight the table, because one of the doors, right? Well, they give you like a this button puzzle. 
I just gotta press the button to match up with the um, and match up with the screen in order to like attack. It gets difficult at times, but I don't know why they made it like this. I would have liked to have four controllers as well so I can fight, but you know, this is for fifty dollar, fifteen dollar game. I guess we gotta count our blessings. But this is what we get. But this wasn't intended to be a long video. I just wanted to share with you some things that I pointed out, and if you had any questions, you could just um, you know, give them to me. Give it to me, or even after the video, it doesn't only have to be live. You can just ask me, and I'll respond to my re my replies. But if you like the video, you know, please like, share, and subscribe. And until then, I'll catch you guys on the next Impact Streaming. Talk to you later.